Um, for us, we you can start with a K, um, second grade. Y'all can start with addition or subtraction problems. Three, five, multiplication, division. So then, the students are going to figure the answer during this time. There's no talking; it's just thinking. From there, we go into and students will have a signal that they show. I just do the thumbs here. Once we have our answer, that lets me get a pulse of the room. Um, once. I see all thumbs up, then students share answer. What's the answer? What's the answer? What's the answer? Once we get a consensus, I ask the class, do we agree this is the answer? And I write the answer on the board. From there, so the class agrees on the real answer, then this is when students get to talk and get to share their answers. So when they share their answers, the teacher's role is to write the student's name and to record their thinking. Now, a lot of times we may know what the student is saying, but the students may not articulate it. So it's our job to ask questions, clarifying questions to get them to explain it to their peers. Okay. We are not telling the answers. We're not putting our strategy on them. It's just opportunity for them to get different strategies. Do we have any questions so far on this process? Okay, y'all ready to be the students? Okay, this is the problem. And I want to do this just like I would do in real life. So class today, we are going to do something called number toss, and we're going to do this every day. And the reason why we're doing number toss is because we want to get really strong in math. So we want to be able to solve math problems in a variety of ways. So here are our rules. I'm going to put a problem on the board. And I, the first thing I want you to do, I just want you to look at the problem, okay? Would you look at the problem? Everybody look at the problem? Second thing I want you to do, I want you to think about the answer to that problem. Everybody take that time to think about the answer to the problem. Once you have that answer to the problem, I want you to give me a thumbs up right here. Okay, now let's see we have our um, thumbs up. I wanna make sure we all agree on what the answer is. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, what's the answer? 15. Mr. Smouse? 15. Ms. Jackson? Did everybody agree that the answer is 50? Yes. Okay, the answer is 50. So I just write the answer on the board. Okay. So I, now you all, you get to share your thinking with the class. So at this time, you get to share your thinking so we can learn how you solve the problem. Anybody want to share how they knew that five times 10 was 50? Ms. Martinez? Uh, so I remember you taught us that multiplication, you can say groups up. Okay. So I have five groups of 10, so I count by 10. Five, 10, <laughs> 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. And that's how I got Okay, so you said your five groups of 10. Mm -hmm. Five groups, there's 10 in each group. How did you know that this one was going to be 20? Because it's like repeated addition. Okay. okay. Anybody have a different way of solving this problem? Ms. Vargas? So I multiplied five times one. Okay. And then added the zero at the end because okay. I multiplied times zero is zero. Can you go back? Why did yes. you multiply five times one? Because if I, I if I was doing two digit by one digit, I would have no, I'm wrong. Why did I multiply? Because that's easier. Because I know what five times one is. So, but why did you pick to multiply five times one? Because it's going to equal five. Okay, so it's going to equal five. Then what did you do? And then I I added the zero at the end because five times zero is zero. So you add zero. So why did you add zero to the end? Because five times zero is zero. Oh, so you did in your head five times zero is yes. zero, but it's five times one fifty. Five times, no, no. It's not. So what what did you mean here? I did five times one, but I know that the one equals the ten. So oh, okay, okay. So this is really five times you did ten. five times the one, but you knew this was in the tens place. Yes. So you said it's a five, and because it's in the tens place, that's why you put that zero yeah. up there. Everybody see how she got fifty? Anybody get a different way? Okay, then we'll stop.